ladies, welcome back. I'm Jamie from Studio DNA. This is Braylin, my beautiful model. Today we're gonna to be doing the Kate Middleton hair. I know there's a lot of buzz around the royal wedding and today we're gonna to achieve those curls that she has. To get started, you wanna have fresh, dry, clean hair. You can achieve the look with using a medium-sized curling iron, which I have right here, a comb and some clips. You definitely wanna have a lightweight hairspray just so you have some mobility in the hair without too much stiffness so to add a lot of shine. So Braylin, I'm gonna start in the back of your hair today and then we're gonna to work towards the front. So I'm gonna turn you just a little bit. So as you can see, Braylin has like a little bit of movement in her hair, but for the most part, it's pretty flat, not too much going on. We're gonna make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna start in the back, grab my comb. I'm going to start with more of a V section pattern just to give you more of those cascading curls. We're just going to do the back section. So I'm going to pin this up out of the way, just like that. And everything that falls in the front of the ear, we'll just use the ear as a section. And same on the side. So I can show this to the camera. So as you can see, the hair section in a V pattern, higher on the sides and lower in the center. This helps with the curls to cascade down and have a lot of movement, as opposed to stack on themselves and become too bulky. So I'm just gonna start here. Take more of a vertical parting, and this will be my first section. So because I'm using a medium-sized curling iron and I want the curls to be very soft and flowy, I'm gonna take larger sections with a medium curling iron. Using a curling iron that's too small will make the curls too big and bulky and something that's too big, you won't get enough memory in the hair. So lightly mist your section. We're gonna come in about halfway down the hair and I'm gonna curl away from the face and the guiding the hair through the curling iron so we don't pull the hair. And letting it set in a vertical position. And because it's very soft, I am gonna initially just kind of stretch it out a little bit while the heat's still on it, just to release a little bit of the curl. So we get it like that. And I'm just gonna move horizontally across the hair, taking the same size sections. It's a hairspray. And once again, starting from the middle of the hair down. Make sure you can feed the hair through the curling iron to achieve more sleekness. And then, once again, just softening the curl. So as you can see, if I start to run my fingers through it, you get more of that disheveled curl look. Just like that. So I'm gonna continue with the same parting. Some of these sections. About the same thickness, so it's gonna be about an inch to an inch and a half thick. And that same higher on the sides and lower in the center. What I really like to do with curls too is um, work everything towards the back center of the head. So as you can see when I'm curling it, everything's gonna be working from this side of the head to the back center and then opposite on the other side, obviously, where the curls come in this way so they meet in the center. And that's one reason why we part in the V so that they kind of cascade and meet in the middle and create something that's very appealing to the eye. So again, I'm coming towards the center because I'm on the opposite side of the head. Holding vertically. And just immediately softening it. It's very wispy. You can see how these ones come this way and this side will come this way. 
You can also achieve this look by just doing a simple round brush blow dry. Um, now if you have hair that has less of a natural texture in it or a little bit finer texture, then the blow dry may not hold as well as the curling iron will. But if you do have a nice thick texture, getting a good blowout or just um, doing a flat blow dry and just curling the ends would be more than sufficient to create this look. Perfect, so I'm still following that same V section up to the top, <clears throat> but when it gets to that last section, I'm gonna do something that's a little bit different. So let's just finish this sectioning up here. And I'm still only curling like the mid shaft down on the hair, just to create that soft kick at the ends as opposed to a full body curl all the way through. Perfect, so then once I get to this top section, I'm just going to drop it out and let it kind of find a natural fall. And then the layer that's right beneath that where I've just curled, I'm going to incorporate these top pieces into that. So for instance, right around here, this falls into this piece. So I might pick up a little bit from that previous. You can see how that curl kicks there. We just want to get that top part. Just leave the ends out and it'll just softly Blend that in together, or she can still run her hands through it, but it will fall right back into place. So if you don't have short layers like Braylin, then you can go ahead and follow that V sectioning to get to the very top and do it the same way as you've done the previous layers. And we're going to come in around her face. As you can see, it's curling in towards her face. But I usually see Kate bump it a little bit out. So we're going to flip the direction and come the opposite way. Frame her face with her curls. And for right here on the face, I am taking, I'm going to put your head down, from the top to the bottom, just to try to incorporate all of Braylon's layers. So if your layers are really short on top, you can always lift the hair so that they will all fit into the curling iron. So now as it falls, <clears throat> it still falls into place. Roll these back a little bit too. Soft, and then we'll do the other side. And my last step is to take a nice soft brush. And I'm actually gonna work through the curls just to soften them. And if you have really clean hair, then you're going to get a lot of static coming off there. A really good trick is to take your hairspray, do a light halo onto your brush, and then brush the hair. It'll help hold down a lot of flyaways without making your hair stiff and crunchy. All right, ladies, so there it is. There's your soft cascading curls, just like Kate Middleton. All it took us today was a nice soft brush to loosen everything up a nice lightweight hairspray, a styling comb, and some clips. If you have any questions, send them to request at mahalo.com. We'll see you later.
Thanks again for watching. This has been Jamie with Studio DNA and Mahalo. If you have any other questions, send your request to request at mahalo.com. Or if you'd like to be a super hair stylist, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. I'll see you next time.